Good afternoon. I am Dr. Yolanda Clinton, the Elementary Education Specialist, Assistant Professor, and Program Manager for the UNCF LAIC grant here at Talladega campus. The reason for our time together today is to recap lesson study four, which is <clears throat> the lesson that I wrote and taught. My goal is to reflect on the process and implementation of lesson study in my lesson. The education department decided to use the subject of ethics for our education students for this grant. We also completed active learning professional development in which we learned various teaching strategies that we could use in the teaching of our lessons. I chose to use a strategy called Jigsaw, which one of my previous colleagues also used, um, Dr. Rebecca Robinson. Jigsaw is a cooperative learning strategy that enables each student of a home group to specialize in one aspect of a topic, then they bring that information back to their home group. After attending and participating in lesson studies one through three, I decided to integrate technology in my lesson and use a learning web-based platform called Lesson Up. With Lesson Up, the students receive a code when they enter the classroom or prior to the lesson, in this case, and they're able to log in and submit any responses that they will have to questions that I um, ask them by way of their electronic devices. My students really like it and they get very, very engaged with it. You can, with Lesson Up, you can have students' names show when you reveal their answers or you can do it anonymously. Sometimes it's good to do it either way. It also has various options like there's a timer, there's a spinner so that you're not just calling on the same student um, every time, but it arbitrarily selects students. So that was uh, that's also one of the features. Now, I will talk about briefly some things that went right and some things that mm, I may need to work on. One thing that I needed to work on was my time management. I thought I had practiced, rehearsed, had my time down, I had a script written and everything, but I guess I failed to put in the fact that my students were going to be very, very engaged and talkative, so we went over our allotted time. But it was okay because we could really see that learning was taking place. And that happens in lessons. Um, my students, I'll say the good thing was, the students were very actively engaged. My technology worked because, you know, technology sometimes will let you down. And the resources that I used in my lesson were very interesting, which also kept my students interested and engaged. The next time, I teach this lesson, I will use some suggestions that my students provided for me in our reflect, reflective stage of the lesson study process. Things that I did not even think of, but my students are brilliant and they thought of these ideas. Um, one thing was, they said, Dr. Clinton, instead of you providing us with scenarios, how about we write our own scenarios and then we report back to the group and you guys can decide if they were ethical or not. What a fantastic idea. One student said, we could even have a debate and have someone read a scenario and then we can have debate about it. Divide the classroom up, one side yes, one side no, and we debate. It's like, hmm, interesting. And the last thing that <clears throat> they said was, let us act out the scenarios and then have students tell us 
which standard it would fall under. I will use one, two, or all three of those suggestions the next time I teach this lesson. Lastly, I will say that I thoroughly enjoyed teaching this lesson. I will say that I wrote my lesson about a week ahead of time and then on the Wednesday before I was to teach it, which was on a Friday, I changed my mind <laughs> and had to rewrite my lesson. But I'm glad that I did because it turned out great um, with just a few minor um, need for improvement. But other than that, it was awesome. Once I completed writing and implementing my lesson, I felt good. Honestly, I felt relieved <laughs> because it was over. <laughs> Although I teach every day, it's different when you're on camera or in front of a group of people because not only were my students in here, but my colleagues, my peers, even the president of the college was present. Um, and then we, our other two participants um, for the lesson study, which are called a knowledgeable other and the participant observer, were also present. They're not a part of our regular staff. So you do get a few butterflies when you're having to present a lesson in front of different people, I should say. <laughs> but overall, I think it was my lesson accomplished the goal and the objective that was set out and I'm ready to retry it. Thank you and hopefully this will help you when you decide to write and implement a lesson study. Thank you.